SharePoint 2010 provides you with a functionality called Developer Dashboard. Now a Developer Dashboard sounds like a something that only developers can use, but that is not the case. You as an IT professional or as an administrator of a site can use this utility called Developer Dashboard to see how your site, how the pages on your sites are performing. It will show you, for example, how long it took for a page to come up. It will show you, for example, also what kind of uh, objects, what kind of uh, sort of procedures are being used to uh, get information for your page. And those things could be really helpful when you're debugging uh, your site, your pages, or communicating some information to your developers. When it's working, the developer dashboard provides information right down below the page. So it'd be right down here. Currently, of course, it's not turned on, so it wouldn't show anything to me. Now, the way I would turn it on is either using the SDS ADM utility or using PowerShell. So you would need to have access to the utility. You need to have, have access to the web server itself to be able to uh, run these commands. Once you run the command, you are doing it for the whole server. Keep that in mind, please. I'm going to go to Start All Programs. Under Microsoft SharePoint 2010 products, there's the SharePoint 2010 management shell. And that is the PowerShell utility. The PowerShell utility that is uh, that already has information about SharePoint. It has already libraries that are loaded in it, basically, that will let you act upon SharePoint. So the command that I want to execute here is SDS ADM dash O for operation and I'm setting a property, so set property, and the property name is developer dashboard. PV stands for property value, and that's going to be on. So I'm turning the developer dashboard on right now by pressing on enter. It will take a few seconds. It is doing it at the whole web server level. Here we go, it's done. I'll return to my page, my SharePoint site page. In this case, it's a subsite. And I'm logged in as an administrator right now. I'm gonna refresh this page. Okay, so now you see at the bottom here, you have this additional information showing up as part of the developer dashboard. First thing to see as a owner of a site or as a IT professional is, what is the execution time for your page in terms of milliseconds here? Who's the current user who's logged in? What is the checkout level of the page, etc. It also shows you all the database queries, all the database procedures that are it's calling right now and how long they're taking to come back. And that is really good information to have. Any service calls, web part events. And on the left over here is showing all the different objects. Uh, now this would be very useful for a developer to see exactly which methods were called, how long they took to return the result, etc. But you as an IT professional or as an admin can at least show this information to a developer to get them started. Now if I sign in as somebody else over here, I'm going to sign in as a user called Irene. Irene is a designer of the site. She can also see the developer dashboard. I'm going to sign in now as another person. His name is Brian. Brian is a member of the site. So for a member of the site, he or she will not see the developer dashboard, even if it's turned on. So that's a definitely good news because you don't want uh, the members of the site to be able to see this information. Let me go back and sign in now as an administrator. Now to turn the um, developer dashboard back off, all you would need to do is replace on with off. So 
So it's now turning developer dashboard off for the whole web server. When it's done, return to my page and if I refresh here, it won't show the developer dashboard anymore. Now between turning it on completely or turning it off completely, there is a middle ground. And that is changing this on and off flag here to um, on demand instead. So if you type in on demand for the property value, execute this thing. This will show up a small icon by the username. You'll see that in a second. Okay, so I'll return to my page, refresh this page here. Here we go, here's a small icon that appears right on the upper right corner. If I click on this icon, then and only then it shows a developer dashboard. If I toggle it, now developer dashboard is gone. So it is available to me on every page but it's available on demand this way. So you saw how easy it is to use developer dashboard to get the kind of data that you would want to see the, how the page or site is performing. And it is useful not only for developers, but also for IT professionals and site administrators.